Good day. Welcome to Alexander McKenzie High School's Grade 8 Course Selection Presentation. Land Acknowledgement. As guests on Turtle Island, we would like to start by acknowledging that we are connecting virtually today from our spaces on land that has been shared with us so that we may work and learn together in service of the students who will attend our schools. These schools are on the traditional territories of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and the Anishinaabe peoples, whose presence here continues to this day. We would also like to acknowledge that the land we are on is at the meeting place of two treaties, the lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit and those of the First Nations of the Williams Treaty. We would like to thank them and other Indigenous peoples for sharing this land with us. We would also like to acknowledge the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation as our closest Indigenous community and our partners in education. It is important that we take the time to acknowledge this land and the people because the first step to reconciliation is recognizing the existence of Indigenous people. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada calls to action number 62 to 63, speak to the significance of education as the key to reconciliation. A shared understanding of how our collective past brought us to where we are today will help us walk together into a better future. Our school, general information about our school. Our administration team, Principal, Ms. Pummel. Vice Principals, Ms. Pretty, Mr. Ellenis. Hi, my name is Ms. Gerfinkel, and I'm one of the guidance counselors here at Alexander McKenzie High School. In the guidance department at AMHS, our mission is to provide a proactive, comprehensive, and developmentally appropriate program to address students' academic and career goals, in addition to supporting their personal and social needs on their journey to becoming a successful, productive, contributing citizens and lifelong learners in an ever-changing world. While I've already introduced myself, let me introduce you to our guidance team. Ms. Kohler is our guidance assistant. Mr. L. Young is a guidance counselor as well as the head of the ESL department. Ms. Juma is a guidance counselor as well as the head of Modern's department. Mr. Petroni is a guidance counselor as well as the lead on the Specialist High School's major program. And Ms. Rahani is the Head of Guidance as well as the IB Diploma Program Coordinator. Our school day starts at 8.30 a.m. and continues till 3 p.m. Our school is broken into two semesters. In semester one, it will start in September and you'll take four courses that end at the end of January. And semester two will start at the beginning of February where you'll take four new courses and go all the way till the end of June. And this means that by the end of grade nine, you will have completed eight courses. I'm Mr. Al Young, and I'm going to be talking about the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. The Ontario Secondary School Diploma has four components, 18 compulsory credits. That means 18 credits you must take, 12 optional credits, successful completion of the Ontario School Literacy Test, and 40 hours of community involvement. So here is a list of the requirements for graduation. So there are the compulsory credits, the optional credits, the community involvement, and the provincial literacy requirements. And as you can see on the slide, the how each section is broken down. So let's take a look at the compulsory courses, the courses that we must take. You have to earn four credits in English, one credit per grade, one credit in French, three credits in math, two credits in science, one credit in Canadian history, one in Canadian geography, one in the arts, one in health and physical education, and in grade 10, um, half a credit in physics and half a credit in career studies. The Ontario Secondary School Literacy Test 
is administered and usually in the spring of the grade 10 year. This test is based on language and communication, reading and writing, expectations of the curriculum, including grade nine, up to and including grade nine. Community involvement is a diploma requirement and you must complete 40 hours before graduation. And you are able to start your community involvement hours in the summer between grade eight and grade nine with the school's approval. So here's a summary of what is needed for the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. So 18 compulsory credits, 12 elective credits, a minimum of 40 hours community involvement, and the grade 10 literacy test. Thank you, Mr. Oyang, for the wonderful explanation regarding the OSSD requirements for graduation. My name is Nazi Rayhani, and I work with the wonderful team of guidance counselors at AMHS to provide you with all the support and resources you need to be successful in your high school years. For this part of the presentation, I will provide you with information regarding course selection. In February, you will be selecting your grade 9 courses for the academic year 2021-2022. Right now, there are two types of students who will be attending our school in September. Our own YRDSB elementary students and those who are currently attending an elementary school outside of our board and have decided to attend our school in the fall. Let's begin with non-YRDSB students. Thank you for choosing AMHS for being your high school over the next four years. Currently, you do not have access to our course selection, but it doesn't mean that you will not select courses. For now, please familiarize yourselves by reading information about OSSD requirements, course descriptions, and prerequisite courses, as well as by visiting our website. Links are all available here. In the first week of February, on our AMHS Guidance tab, we will post a link to a Google form for course selection. You will use that link to let us know about your compulsory courses, elective courses, and alternate courses for your grade nine year. For YRDSP students, you do have access to my Pathway Planner. Please go on to the YRDSP website. On the landing page, you will see the icon for my Pathway Planner at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. When you click on it, on the login page, you will select the EDU domain and enter your YRDSV student number and password. In other words, you will be logging in with your GAPS accounts. After successfully logging in, you will be redirected to the career and life planning tool. When you enter my blueprint, this is the page you will see. On the landing page, please click on My High School highlighted with a red box. As you can see here, each grade is laid out. You will be choosing grade 9 courses indicated in the red box. There are six compulsory courses in grade 9 and two elective courses. The compulsory courses include English, Mathematics, Science, French as a Second Language, Geography, Health and Physical Education. There are also two elective courses that you may choose. If you'd like to search any of the courses, please click on Courses button indicated in the green box. This will take you to a list of all the courses offered at AMHS. For non-YRDSP students, you also have access to this list. Simply visit our AMHS website under Guidance tab and go to Course Offerings to be able to see a list of all our offered courses. When selecting a course, click on the plus sign beside every course. Once you do that, the description pops up. Here, you can see the plus sign beside the science course. Select on the course code for that course so that you can choose it. Then click Add. Here, we have selected the geography. And when you click Add Course, that course will be added to my blueprint for you. It is important to know how to read a course code. Every course has six digits. 
Here is an example of the Grade 9 Academic English course. The first three letters represent the department. In this example, E and G represents the subject English and the department English. The fourth digit is the grade. In this example, the digit is number 1, which means Grade 9. Grades 9 to 12 are numbered 1 to 4, respectively. The fifth digit represents the level. In this example, D stands for academic. In the next slide, we will talk to you about how secondary courses are organized. Finally, the last digit is for school use only. Most courses have a 1 indicated at the end of the code. On this slide, you can see the organization of secondary school courses. For grades 9 and 10, the subjects are organized into the following types. Applied, Academic, Locally Developed, and Open. Applied courses focus on essential concepts of the discipline. Students develop their knowledge and skills by doing practical and concrete applications of the course contents. Academic courses focus on essential concepts and explore related concepts. Students develop their knowledge and skills by doing the theoretical and abstract applications of these concepts in addition to practical applications. Locally developed courses provide additional support to upgrade the student's knowledge and skills in order to meet the compulsory credits requirements. There are up to seven locally developed courses that can be counted as compulsory credits. They meet the student's educational needs if they are not working at grade level. Open courses are designed to prepare students for further study in certain subjects and to enrich the student's education. Students from various grades are allowed to take open courses following a meeting with their guidance counselor. Please note that the Ontario's Ministry of Education announced recently that the Grade 9 Mathematics course will be de-streamed across the province beginning September 2021. The Grade 9 Math course has now been updated as follows. Mathematics Grade 9 MTH1W The new course description is now uploaded on my Blueprint page. Please note that for the 2021-2022 school year, locally developed courses will continue. The course code for locally developed courses remains the same, MAT1L. Please remember, for students who are enrolled in Alexander McKenzie High School Arts McKenzie program, students must pick the correct course codes. In addition to the six compulsory courses, including English, Math, Science, Geography, French, and Physical Education, successful applicants in Arts McKenzie must pick two Arts McKenzie courses, one in each semester. Please see here on this chart which courses to pick depending on the discipline that you will be enrolled in. This will include Dance, Music Instrument, Music Strings, music vocal, theater arts, as well as visual arts. Please remember for students who are enrolled in Alexander McKenzie High School's preparatory program for IB, students must pick the correct course codes. The pre-IB courses and in the letter Z. Here you can see the list of all the pre-IB courses. Of the six compulsory courses, Four of them are pre-IB courses. These include English, French, Math, and Science. The other two compulsory courses, Geography and Physical Education, are regular compulsory courses that IB students will select. As mentioned previously, in addition to compulsory courses, students must also pick elective courses. In grade 9, students are allowed to pick up to two elective courses. Please click on the plus sign to pick elective courses indicated in the green box. Again, please make sure that you pick courses based on your interests and ability. You may also pick alternate courses to these elective courses. 
Here is a list of elective courses open to grade 9 students. You must pick at least one course in arts, dramatic arts, music, or visual arts, since you need one arts course in order to satisfy the requirements of the Ontario Secondary School Diploma. When choosing courses, again, please make sure that you select based on interests and abilities. Please be aware that there are no guarantees that you will receive the choices for your elective or alternate courses. It is very important that you are scheduled for your compulsory courses first. If there are no conflicts or any overlap of courses, we will make sure that your elective courses are chosen for you. In addition, please be mindful that some courses have an after-school course that can be taken. For example, if you choose Music Band, an extra course will appear on your course planner called the Repertoire. You may select this course by clicking on the plus sign and then add the course. For non-YRDSP students who would like to browse our course catalog, please go on AMHS website and you will be able to find all our courses as indicated under the Guidance tab. Just to recap, course selection will open on February 16th and will close on February 24th. YRDSP students, please start the process early to make sure that there is enough time to select your compulsory courses and elective courses. Non-YRDSP students, please check our website under the Guidance tab in the first week of February. We will provide you with two options. Option 1. There will be a Word document posted there. You may print it at your end, fill it out for compulsory and elective courses, scan the document, and email it back to our guidance department. This is time consuming, but doable and possible. Option two, we will provide you with a link to a Google form. You may fill out the form for compulsory and elective courses. This option is much faster. For both YRDSB and non-YRDSB students, during course selection time, we deal with a high volume of emails. In order to address all your questions, we will provide you with a link to a Google form called Q&A. If you have any questions regarding course selection, please fill out that form. We will then collect all the questions, compile a list of frequently asked questions, and post the list on our website. And now, I will hand it over to Mr. Petroni, who will talk to you about all the amazing things that happen at Alexander McKenzie High School. Thank you, Mr. Handy, for that overview of course selection. My name is Mr. Petroni, and I'm one of the guidance counselors here at Alexander McKenzie High School. There are multiple opportunities for students to get involved and participate in our Mustang student life culture. Currently, councils are working virtually but these are just some of the examples of the councils that are running today. Arts and culture, athletics, drama, IB, dance, music, President's Council, Pride, Schism, student councils. We also have a variety of initiatives, including AMAC Gives, our annual holiday food drive, Relay for Life, variety of student performances, peer mentoring programs, and wellness events. At Alexander McKenzie High School, we also offer a wide range of clubs and committees for every student and every learner. Here's a short list of just a few of them. Book club, DECA, robotics, peer tutoring, youth alive, eco team, math club, dance club, GSA, cheer, girls up, prom committee, world scholars cup, breach for the top, D&D, &D, debate club, national theater, School, Science Club, Men Life Law Club, Psychology Club, Intramurals, Philanthropy Club, HOSA, Mackie Dance and Anime Club, Board Games, School Newspaper, TED Ed, Chess Club, Sport Teams, ESL Leadership Club, and Spoken Word, as well as Film Club. Can you just imagine yourself being in one of these clubs? And if the club or council or event that you would like to participate in doesn't exist, we invite you to create it. Once you get to AMHS, you'll learn all about how to create an opportunity if it doesn't exist already. 
At AMHS, we have a wide range of teams running throughout the year. In the fall, we have boys soccer, girls basketball, boys volleyball, tennis, cross country, and then both girls and boys rugby. In the winter, there is both boys and girls hockey teams, boys hawks, excuse me, boys basketball, girls volleyball, ski and snowboarding, and badminton. The spring season gives students the opportunity to join girls soccer, boys baseball, ultimate frisbee, track and field, girls slow pitch, and both boys and girls rugby. Our athletic department runs awesome home game events with music, snacks, announcing, and game introductions. During lunch, athletics is responsible for running amazing intramurals such as basketball, volleyball, soccer, while hosting special events like three-on-three basketball tournaments, dodgeball tournaments, and the Terry Fox Run. Our special events include amazing and inspiring virtual events, including not a big deal, very virtual Terry Fox, excuse me, Halloween pumpkin carving type contest, and a winter wonderland workout challenge. AMHS has so many different opportunities available to all students. We can't wait you for you to be involved the Mustang way. AMHS resources and support. Here at Alexander McKenzie High School, we are committed to the success of all of our students. All of our teachers, administrators, and staff members collaborate to provide relevant coursework and experiential learning opportunities. Special education offers several programs for students with exceptionalities. The goal of this department is to provide students with accommodations in their classes with the ultimate aim of becoming independent self-advocates with a positive self-image. English language learners, our ACL department, provides opportunities to enable students to develop competence in English, which are to be integrated into the curriculum in all subject areas. Our ESL department supports our ELL learners as they continue to develop language skills. Our guards department is committed to student well-being and success by providing counseling sessions as needed and providing support for all students identifying their personal interests, strengths, needs, and aspirations in order to choose the programs they are interested in. The guidance department provides a wide range of diverse and engaging learning opportunities, courses, and programs, both in and outside of the classroom. The library learning commons provides the physical space for learning as well as many resources that students can use during school time. Our students also have access to virtual library that is open 24 hours, seven days a week, where students have access to databases as well as video and audio material. Our student success program allows every student to reach his or her potential, providing assistance with coursework, assignments, should you need it, offering time management and day-to-day -day course planning. And our friendly student success teachers also provide caring one-on-one -on -one or small group se sessions to get you moving in the right direction with all of your coursework. At Alexander McKenzie High School, we offer a wide range of academic programs for every student learner. Here is a short list of some of the programs that are available at Alexander McKenzie High School. SHISM, the specialized high skills major program offer students a unique ability to tailor their academic learning in the classroom with spe sector-specific training. Co-op is an educational program that integrates classroom theory with practical experience in the workplace. Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program, or OYAP, is a school-to-work program that opens the doors for students to explore and gain training in apprenticeship occupations starting grade 11 or grade 12. Personalized alternative education. These programs operate on a reduced class size and combine teacher-directed courses with independent learning and credit recovery. And lastly, dual credit courses. For those students wishing to explore life at the college level, our board has partnered with college institu institutions to provide you with a range of ministry approved courses while still in high school, whether it's in grade 11 or grade 12. Two additional programs and pathways that are the Arts, McKenzie, and International Bachelorette Program are also available. We encourage you to see our Alexander McKenzie website to see more information about those programs. Information regarding these programs have been shared with families in the fall 
and you can view those information nights on our school YouTube channel and contact the school or if there are any additional questions regarding the regionalized specialized programs. The York Region District School Board makes it easy for you to connect with us, whether it be through our website at www.wiredsb.ca or the Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube channel, or whether it's downloading the mobile app to your phone. It's easy also for you to connect with Alexander McKenzie High School through our website or our Twitter or YouTube channel. We sincerely thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. If you have any questions, please contact the AMHS Guidance Department at amhs.guidance at gaps.wiredsb.ca. On behalf of our guidance team and our administrative team at Alexander McKenzie High School, we thank you for listening once again and look forward to seeing you in September 2021.